Focus, damn it, focus. I'm gonna try that there. Let's take it down a bit. There we go. All right, welcome back to the cabin, folks. Oh, <laughs> wrong one. Welcome back to the outpost. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out. Uh, I'll uh, get into some details in a little bit, uh, but for now it was a long walk in. I'm pretty tired. Uh, I walked in on the road. I, I didn't snowshoe in, and I'll explain that as well. But for now, I got to get ca uh, camp kind of organized and get a fire going because I, I need lunch and uh, and just something to eat and a little bit of water. Um, and then uh, when I get kind of settled in a little bit, then we'll we'll have a chat about kind of what's going on and and. Uh, explain a few things and talk about some changes and, and basically just try and enjoy the night and uh, oh and I'll show you some new uh, new gear that I got which is pretty sweet from from the holidays and um, yeah, that's about it pretty basic so I'm gonna get uh, things organized here and uh, get a fire going yeah So just before the snow fell, um, I dug out this uh, fire pit. Uh, so wet, god damn it. Uh, wish I had those tall gators. Jeez. Anyways, uh, this, uh, this fire pit was dug out beforehand and uh, I brought up a piece of plywood from the cabin, lugged it over and, uh, and uh, covered it over because I knew I wanted to kind of keep it cleaned out as much as possible. Uh, that way it made it easier to use. So uh, I'm using a little uh, uh, Coglin survival shovel. Uh, I left it out here as well because I figured it might come in handy in an emergency. Um, it's not very useful when it comes to snow, but you know, it's doing the trick. It saved me from bringing another shovel out. So anyways, this is my fire pit and uh, let's get this finished up and uh, get a fire going. It's not too bad in terms of like just kind of whacking the snow, but it uh, doesn't have the volume, I guess. Good way to break a wrist. Goddamn cold. Of course, the one thing I would do is uh, pack the old lighter at the bottom of the bag. Not that it matters too much. I mean, I eventually have to find other stuff as it is. Actually, it might not be in this bag. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, well, not in that bag. Back we go, back we go, back we go, back in the bag. I have a vague memory of putting it in something. The old age setting in, that's what it is. Alright. Nope, 
long to leave that out. Hopefully this lighter works. Oh, look at that. Come on. There you go. Buddy. Papa needs some warm hands. Okay, so the fire is going, so uh, that's a good start. Uh, I'm going to get some coals on and probably uh, boil up some water and get uh, get a coffee in me, of course. Uh, not bad. It's warming up very quickly, which is great. I can't argue with that. And uh, I have to uh, move some of this wood around and kind of figure out uh, where I'm going to keep it in the meantime. I, I did the smart thing and got a lot of wood prep before I left and uh, I will probably have to go uh, wander around for some more but I'll, I'll, have to, I'll see and I'll explain that too in a moment. Uh, so for now I think I gotta get this cleaned off and uh, get it organized to a point that I can actually sit down and, and kind of enjoy some of this heat and, and then run down and get some water and things. So yeah. Wouldn't you fucking know it? Look at this. Okay, so this sounds really stupid, but uh, the one thing I wanted to remember when I came out here was to bring a couple nails, and I left some here. And I can't remember why, but I did, and I'm truly, truly thanking myself. God damn it, that's awesome. Got all these leftover chunks I can burn too, which is great. It's just kind of kind of freebies really. Mini table. Completely forgot about this. That's awesome. This also means I don't have to dig into my uh, wood stores as much until tonight, which is great. It means I'll have more, more for another day. Pro procurement of wood will be a little more difficult through the winter. The bed's still a bit damp. I mean the tarp there it's just it's not meant to well it just it doesn't have any moisture resistance really. Uh, it keeps kind of like a little bit off but then it's got a lot of holes and it. it's an old old tarp. Plus, this wood is actually drying, so uh, moisture is probably coming up and then hitting the tarp as well. So, it is what it is. So, uh, probably going to have to move that wood there as well. And then I'll put a ground sheet down, and, uh, and then I got a sitting pad. Um, it's quite a mess here <laughs> now. I forgot how much wood I actually had, to be honest with you. Jesus Christ, it's a lot. It's a fucking lot. Uh, Okay, so fire's good. Things are kind of a mess. I'm really getting hungry now. So I think I'll just get out the um, ground sheet and the sitting pad and then uh, 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 run down and get some more water. And uh, hopefully by then I've got enough coals and whatnot going on to uh, at least boil some water and then uh, we'll, we'll start from there.
Jim Shaw. Oh, that was horrible. Not in the shot. Okay, so uh, looks like we're pretty good right now. Actually, I think I'll leave that wood there because uh, it doesn't seem like uh, it's going to get in the way. I think, you know, I'm only about six feet and this is, I think, eight feet wide. So uh, I might be able to leave that there. And then I got enough room over here to put my head and a pillow and stuff like that. So that's good. So, uh, yeah, so let me just kind of talk about some things real briefly while the smoke goddamn goes in front of the stupid fucking camera. Well, that's the first topic. Um, as you can probably tell by now, I'm, you know, my, uh, my language is getting a little bit more vulgar. Um, and that's not intentional. That is in the sense it's not intentional as in like I'm not trying to be that way. Uh, I'm, I'm basically, this is kind of who I am. Um, a lot of uh, the videos is me uh, tempering my language uh, to... Uh, maybe meet an audience. I'm not really sure. Um, I thought it was the right thing to do, and it may still well be. Uh, but I've decided to uh, explore my personality a little bit more. Uh, I found the one thing that with every channel, everybody has their own personality, and I found that mine, I, I was always kind of curbing it for the sake of a video and then uh, worried about viewers and monetization, and I'm starting to realize it's, it might not be my course of action. Um, you may know that YouTube requires all content creators to um, uh, verify whether their content is for kids or is it for adults. And uh, I've never really boasted my content uh, for kids. It's not really something that I had intended. It was more for uh, uh, adults, say 18, 19, and maybe even 17, 16 depending on what would you consider an adult, but I'd say probably safely 19 and up. And, uh, and it, oddly enough, my viewership is like 35, 40 and up. So it's not like the people that watch my videos are really young. It's actually quite the opposite. So I've, I've opted out. I've opted out. I don't recommend my videos at all for kids. It's not, they're not designed to teach kids how to do things specifically. They're just my adventures and my trips and things like that. Uh, so therefore, I felt like, well, then my language can be exactly what I think it is. If, if I, if I want to swear, if I, I want to make a joke or whatever, I, I think it's going to be appropriate. And I may lose a viewership from that, and that's fine. That's, uh, my channel was never about catering to a particular audience other than the outdoor audience. And if that outdoor audience doesn't like it, then that's fine too. But uh, I figure it's time to be myself a little bit more. And um, not that I was stretching too hard to be that other person, but there's just a, a lack of realism in terms of what I see because I can edit just about anything out. Like I'm fairly, holy shit, that's blowing in the, god damn it, would you stop? Um, it's uh, fairly easy for me to edit out certain things and leave content out. So my goal is to be a little bit more like me. And uh, my other goal is to not edit out as much as, say, we would normally edit out. Uh, I think I want to try and capture those bad moments as well as the good moments and the funny moments and the awkward moments and the, the slip-ups and the screw-ups and all that stuff, but more so than, say, what you would normally see. Anyways, that's that's that. Uh, leave a comment down below if you if you like it, you hate it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, be really relatively respectful. Otherwise, I'm booting your ass because I don't really give a shit. It's not. Uh, I'm not making this video for everybody else as much as it is for me. And that sounds kind of selfish, but that's what it is. And uh, yep, and I'm gonna enjoy it. And that's what I need to do. I need to enjoy this process because uh, you know. Not everybody's going to be here forever, but I'm going to be here as long as I want to be, and I want to enjoy it. So, hope you uh, decide to come along. The one thing you don't see on film a lot is the old classic farmer blow. I, I find it's the best way to uh, clear my nostrils and, uh, and then just kind of wipe away uh, in between takes because, uh, you know, there's those typical complaints once in a while. But sniffling and stuff. I mean, 
Hello fuckers, we're out in the outdoors. What the, what the hell else do you expect? Like if you can come out at sub-zero temperatures and not be a sniveling bag, then you're, you're inhuman as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm sure there's people that are more sub uh, fuck, what's the word, um, sub I can't remember the goddamn word, but more likely to have it, sub I can't even pronounce it, it's just, it's not rolling off the top. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a problem of the outdoors, I would say. Oh well. Anyways, I'm going to show you a couple cool things that I've gotten, um, where they go? Okay, so the first thing I got over the Hollies was uh, an MSR uh, Seagull. Um, they're just, they're, I think they call, they call them their stowaway pots. This is a 1.1 liter, I think. Yeah, something like that. So it's bigger than the other one I use, which uh, I think these are fantastic. They're stainless steel. Um, you can you can use them a million times. They go, they don't warp. You can put them directly over the coals, over the flames. Um, they button up really well. You can store things in them. I don't think they're waterproof when they're sealed, although I have water in this now and it's not dripping out, so that's kind of neat. But I wouldn't trust it. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how heavy it is. I didn't bother to check. Screw it. Uh, but I wanted a larger one, obviously, for cooking and boiling water. Uh, in this particular case, it's more for cooking larger meals like chilies and things like that. So fantastic gift. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm really excited to use that. We're going to throw that on the fire here shortly. Uh, let's do this one, I guess. Uh, gonna try this out tonight, so maybe we can get some night shooting, which I don't usually get because of the uh, the just the, my camera's not great in low light, and you just it's hard to generate a lot of light around here. So it's uh, called the Nano Grid. Uh, it's uh, made by BioLite. Um, not too expensive, less than a hundred dollars Canadian. Um, maybe with taxes a little over, I don't know, shipping and all that crap. Um, it's got many functions. It's got flashlight, it's got a kind of a dome light, it can be one side or both sides. Uh, it has a 4400 a milliamp hour battery life, so it's going to be a little rough using it in the cold. That's why you bring extra battery banks. So from that you can also charge your phone, you can also uh, recharge it with another battery bank so that's good so if you bring a lot of battery banks you can just kind of keep cycling you know if you're not uh, worried about weight too much and then you can also attach these little lights to it um, you can kind of they're kind of magnetically held together it's not too strong these are quite light they're like 50 grams I don't know what the ounces are that's like half a pound and uh, these are extendable so uh, you basically pull the tab off and you can pull out uh, 10 feet of rope basically, which is all wire, and then you can connect them down a chain of up to as many as you want. Um, it recommends, I think it recommends four. It comes with two because it was the dual pack. You, for $50 Canadian, you probably get two more, but this will also integrate into the other BioLite system. So if you've never heard of BioLite, go check them out. They're pretty cool. They do a lot of stuff uh, that, that are kind of outdoorsy, but not, uh, not like kind of off the grid type stuff. Uh, but you know some of it's useful some of it's not depending on what your likes and dislikes are but it's the first thing I've been able to buy bio light buy 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 bio light uh, that's a mouthful uh, that I want to try so the idea is I can hang the dome light here and that's what I was talking about the goddamn nails for I was getting excited because I'm gonna put two nails on the side and then we'll have the two uh, side lights focusing down hopefully generating enough lumens to kind of light up this area so we can have chats, we can, you know, eat and, and hang out a little bit more and uh, I can just enjoy the time a little bit more, um, more comfortably without having the headlamp all the time and uh, I still brought that but it's kind of a nice, I think it's going to be a nice switch up. All right, uh, next. And you've seen this a million times, everybody knows this one. I've been, this has been on the list for quite a while now. They're not horribly expensive. It's the Agawa Canyon Boreal 21. I mean, everybody's seen this. I mean, Joe Robinette probably is the most likely of two made this famous in terms of usage. Um, perfect. It's a little over a pound. Uh, it's compact, lightweight. Packs away pretty good. It's 21 inches from tip to tip, roughly speaking, maybe a hair more. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I've got to try it a couple times. I brought it out with me. I didn't need it on this trip. I just brought it out so I could try it out. So maybe what we'll do, if there's time, I'll go and we'll go find a log or something, even just a small one, and just kind of try it out a little bit and just have some fun. Uh, I might not have time. We'll see, because right now I'm starving. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool, and you guys all know how it works. You open it up, rolls around on itself. Yeah. I'm kind of new at it, so I'm kind of a goofball. Snaps into place, and bingo, bango, bongo, you have yourself a saw. And it's uh, blades tensioned very, very well. I'm very happy with that. It's very robust. Uh, I know there's been some complaints about the handle, but I've got big mittens, so I don't know. It seems okay. I mean, I've used it a couple times, so yeah. I don't know. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's it's funny because it's got a very unique sound when you saw with it. It's like a sound that I remember from back watching Joe's videos <laughs> going like, oh, yeah, it's like that's the sound. That's the sound you want to hear when you're cutting wood. And, you know, and it's, it's not the probably do-all tool, but it's definitely, you know, I mean, I, I look at some of the hand saws, like the silkies, and it's like for bigger stuff, it even that takes a long time. So I think it's just... Pick, pick what makes sense for what you're doing, but I think this is going to be cool. So anyways, that's that. So yeah, that's my two or three cool items I got that are going to make little trips like this more uh, enjoyable. And, uh, oh yeah, it's got a little rattle to it, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Well, there's a good little layer of coals there. It's not much. Those little wood chunks that I threw on, they're kind of suck, to be honest with you. They don't really, uh, they're not kind of igniting like I hope. So I'm going to boil some water really quick and throw some more twigs on, get it built back up, and then cook some food. Oh, goodbye, stainless steel, nice looking pot. Goodbye. Oh, smoke. God, they bonkers. Boil, you bastard, boil. Oh. oh, yeah. I can hear the water boiling. So I didn't have any regular coffee, unfortunately. Another one of my little fuck-ups today. That and the nails, but I recovered from that. Um, so in a weird kind of way, I've recovered from my problem. So I brought these little mocha thingies that are that uh, the Nescafe mochas. They're all right. They're like hot chocolate. But I forgot that I actually kept uh, one pouch of uh, actual coffee instant uh, in my uh, kind of snack bag that I kind of drag around with me just in case I get hungry. So I'm going to pour half of that in this guy right now, and then I have the other half for tomorrow. So that that kind of works out pretty good overall. Won't want too much though. Save the rest for tomorrow. Grab my water and uh, we're off to the races. Need a glove. Perfect. Now, if I only had a spoon, I do. What the hell did I do with it? I feel like I remembered. I hope I did. It's going to make eating kind of interesting if I didn't bring it. Ah, there it is. This is like a hunting game. It's like, I know I brought stuff. I just can't remember what and how much of it. <laughs> Horrible. Old age and Alzheimer's is no joke at this point. Interesting purchase. As it's sport check, and uh, I'm always looking for utensils and stuff. I'm just one of those people. I just love utensils and cooking stuff for the outdoors. I don't know why I'm a, I'm a sucker for it. 
Anyways, uh, I found uh, these jet foil spoon, fork, and spatula on sale for nine ninety nine. Um, they don't really carry jet foil stuff, at least not anymore. And uh, yeah, so I bought them, and it's been a nice addition. Like I have several sets of utensils, but they all kind of are really good for different situations. Like I have the metal ones, which I'm kind of like, or the aluminum ones, which are better for eating, you know, steaks and things like that, and tougher objects. Excuse me, I have backpacking ones, I have long handle spoons, and now I have these ones, which kind of go together for like, it's gonna, the spatula is like, a, is like nice and small, but I figure, you know, maybe make pancakes or something one of these days or something like, you know, whatever. I still think they're cool, no matter what. They're a lot of fun. And uh, like a lot of that stuff, they're kind of collapsible, so they, they have a lower profile. It's kind of nice. Don't need that. So I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit. Um, you, I don't know, you've probably seen, some of you probably haven't seen this, either of those insulated Sea of Summit mugs. I've had this since like the beginning, like back before YouTube and all that jazz. And uh, it works great. Like it's, it keeps your coffee super warm for super long. It's not too heavy. It's not overly bulky. So this is a great wintertime one. And it, it transmits just enough heat out into the... The, the rubber, uh, I don't know, it's rubber or neoprene. Anyways, it, it, it keep your hands warm, but not burn them. So, kind of a nice thing. Um, but this will keep it scalding hot for quite a while. So I'm going to let that cool down, and I'm going to get this uh, fire going again, because it's getting chilly again. And I'm going to spend half my night just trying to dry these fucking pants off. <sighs> Alright, let's do it. So the original design, I shouldn't look at that, should I? So, da, da, da. Okay, so the original design of this fire pit, um, if you were looking at it, it looks kind of weird. Uh, it looks kind of abnormal uh, because the idea was is that it'd be two tiers where one tier would go in and then it'd have a lower tier. And then as you get coals, you rake coals up and then you uh, cook off those coals. But right now it's so wet and muddy it looks like one mishmash so it's just going to be a overgrown fire pit for the most part i think I, it's uh it is what it is and uh it'll serve its purpose um what i do want to do is turn it into like a dakota fire pit so basically i want to have like a, a little kind of like entranceway behind the fire reflector that will draw air more efficiently um but that won't be until until the spring and then I'd like to expand the uh, fire reflector out and around so it's a lot wider and covers a lot bigger area. Fucking batteries. Jesus Christ drives me nuts. I mean, like in the middle of a shot, you're like, bloop, gone. Anyways, uh, yeah, so it's, it didn't turn out as well. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, expanding the uh, fire reflector so that it covers more area and hopefully the smoke rises up. Um, Obviously, the hotter the fire and the better it's burning, the smoke rises up, but it will still trap down in here, which kind of sucks once in a while, so um, it is what it is. I'm looking old, aren't I? Jeez. Oh, yeah, I got bad teeth. Sorry. Uh, that's another thing you should know. I don't care if you guys uh, notice it or you don't. It is what it is. It's just, I've lived with it all my life, and... I'm taking steps to fix it, but it takes time and effort, and that's that's the way it goes, you know. Um, trying to make positive changes in my life, and that was one of my you know, regretful mistakes over time, and trying to fix it, but it's it's a slow process because it's so expensive. So, anyways, yeah, looking still looking old though. Little gruffy dog, just old like my dog. Well, I think the coffee's probably. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Sex is still better, but this is good. This will do. Mm hmm. I should get coffee sponsors. Reach out to like some local coffee shops and just. It's too bad I didn't have like that kind of reach, like in terms of audience. And then, then you can go get like these sponsorships. And I think it'd be cool to like 
get people to send you stuff to try out and then review it honestly. Not gonna happen in my lifetime probably, so. Anyways, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this coffee as I've said one thousand times before. Shit, I, I, yeah, I do it every trip. So I'm gonna do that and uh, relax. There's nothing to do. There's nowhere to go, there's nowhere to be. This is what it's all about. This is why we're here. Let's enjoy it. Cheers. <sighs> yep. Sex is still better. Old man Walsh. I think I like this look actually. It's not bad. Uh, uh. Uh, all right, take two. I can't help but look at the stupid monitor all the time. It's like great. It's nice, but it's not doing me any good. <laughs> I bet you that pisses people off left, right, and center. It's like, stop looking at the light monitor thingy. Mm. Wow, I'm kind of bored now. <laughs> 337 so sun goes down in an hour not that it was ever up in the first place Christ it's been, been overcast all day it's supposed to clear tonight which is interesting because usually when it clears in the winter it means it's gonna get colder but it's actually going to be steady at zero because we have a, a, a rainy front or whatever coming in so it's gonna stabilize which is great for me because it's gonna keep me fairly warm but it's kind of sh shit for filming in that regard. It's sh not in some ways, but when you're out in the woods, it's such a bland environment. You got the white off the snow, you got the gray off the trees, you got the green off the trees, and that's it. Like, you might get some browns on occasion, but the camera doesn't distinguish very well in this environment. That's the tricky thing, I think, about filming outside all the time, especially in the winter times, just the lack of depth and color that can exist if you're not too careful. Um, camps like this are great because they give it a feature, but when it comes to like walking sequences through woods, they're like quite drab and boring, and it sucks because that's what I like filming. I love editing that stuff in, and um, and that's probably why my viewership is an older viewership because it's more stylistic, it's more appealing to people that are just trying to be in the environment as opposed to, you know, that quick. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about other channels. And it's like I don't know what it is to be on the next level. I just I'm on my own level, and and that's what it is. And I'll, you know, I don't know. Maybe I do too much. Maybe I should just cut out all the crap and just do what whatever I think and go from there. But I mean, you'd be you'd be shocked at how much the last video where I had. 20 minutes and then I knocked it down to like four and a half minutes of how much footage I had taken and then how much I'd cut out like even more so like that's that's technically two or three edits because I actually cut each one down two or three times each so like I shaved a ton off it and I had shaved a ton out of all the original footage so and and to try and keep it interesting but I mean I don't know geez I mean nobody watches my shit anyways it's like audience retention is probably like, I don't know, uh, fucking smoke. Uh, audience retention is like seven minutes, six minutes, depending on the length of the video. So it's like, 
people aren't either, you know, they're either clicking through it, trying to look for something interesting, or they just want to get to the point, or, you know, there's a handful of people that probably do watch the whole thing. So. Mm. Mm. There's me on the screen. Wow, I look like a sad sack, don't I? Smoke's making me cry. Should have been an actor. No. Yeah. It's starting to dry out. Oh, this is so awkward. Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh. I think that's pretty good. Well, that was a very, very good lunch. However, it landed at 3.30, almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's a bit late. I really shouldn't have waited so long, but that's all right. I'll just have a late supper. <clears throat> so, yeah, time is winding down in terms of, uh, in terms of night time. Uh, i got about technically another 40, 45 minutes of uh, um, daylight and then the sun's setting and it's just, just going to gradually get darker and darker. Now I can probably deal with that for a little bit because cameras are pretty good these days, but I'll have to take my ND filter off. Um, so what the goal is, is, this fire is nice and large, but it's not putting off the heat in my direction as much as I'd like. But there is a lot of smoke, which is unfortunate, but I guess I'm willing to take that to gain heat. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to really let this go and then I'm going to drag it forward in the pit. And then hopefully, hopefully it's going to emanate a little bit more heat. And, uh, it's supposed to be light winds tonight, so it should be able to take away most of the smoke as long as I keep it stoked up. I mean, if plenty of firewood, I can go for all night and just burn like crazy and still not run out. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So I'm really kind of trying to build up the coals, drag it all forward, and build it back up again. And it should emanate a little more heat. I'm a little concerned about the uh, ice in front of me. It's starting to solidify quite a bit. Uh, 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 oh, excuse me. Oh, look at that, see? It's kind of neat. It just wafts right up. Hey, I'm going to keep filming because I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, so I'm a little scared to slip, and I know that in the past that I have slipped before, and these particular boots aren't the, aren't the best. Um for gripping and, and even if I had my other boots they, they, they're they kind of like vibram soles so they slip quite easily on, on ice unfortunately so uh, yeah I'm just gonna have to be careful I mean I'm not planning to move around too much because every time I move around I get snow on my pants and my pants get wet and then I'm cold and I don't like being cold so as we addressed earlier in this video so yeah, so in an effort to get a little warmer, I mean, I'm not bad, it's just, it's supposed to get up to zero, it's probably, I don't know, minus two, minus three now, so, you know, it's going to be considerably warmer, look at that go, see, it's covered it over, um, it's going to get considerably warmer, which is great, and, um, yeah, this is a way to make it even warmer. I think I've kind of designed this shelter, if you hadn't noticed, in a way that it could also become a super shelter with some plastic. I'm just trying to find the right uh, the right plastic. Sorry, I keep looking at that screen. I can't help it today. I just, I'm totally messing up. And uh, uh, I've designed it so you could put a front layer of plastic on this, and then it would definitely um, be able to to create some sort of super shelter, and although I do need to fill some cracks and stuff like that, but whoop, whoop de do right? Like, anyways, that's a video and an idea from another day, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to let that burn down a little bit more, drag it forward, build it up again, see if that makes a difference. I'm debating whether to chip away some of this snow or not, because it doesn't matter if I do that it's still gonna probably be a, a muddy mess which is just as bad as ice in my opinion so and I don't want to scatter too much dirt on it it's not gonna really help but 
We'll see. Okay, so the fire's going really Okay, so the fire's going really well right now. The, it's died down quite a bit, so there's not as much light. So, uh, you can tell it's getting grainy because I'm having to boost the ISO to try and get this to level. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the camera. Uh, this battery's almost dead. I'm going to shut it off, and then when it's kind of dark ish, I'm going to try the lights out and then turn the camera back on. If it all is well, we'll have another chit chat and talk and da 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 and hang out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll go from there. Alright? Oh, it's nice and warm though. Whew. Yes sir. Oh, I'm gonna melt my camera. Oh shit. Oh. Oh god. No, no, no. Oh, come here. Oh, don't burn it down, please. Don't. Oh God. Oh God. Whew. Okay. Well, it's a fair bit of light. It doesn't look like in the camera because I have to kind of jack it up. Um, it is well lit here, like very well lit. Um, everything's on high. Um, to be honest with you, if I were to position them further in here, that would be much better uh, in terms of like direct light on say myself or whatever like the little lights have a three meter span and um, I don't know what that one is but it's it's more indirect whereas these guys feel more direct um, 200 lumens 150 lumens which is plenty for me to move around on a full charge I should have like I don't know four or five hours but it is cooler out so that will make it not last as long um, it was flickering and I found out why because if you have the main light on full blast with both sides of it it'll flicker the other lights because it's maybe drawing too much power away from it so I cut that in half and that worked out well and as soon as I turned the flashlight on it cut out the other two lights so uh, I imagine if I buy the two more lights to go with it, which is what I want to do, I won't be actually use the controller. So, but that's not a bad deal because then you could take the controller and kind of keep it here, run it to the first light, second light, third light, and then kind of do that. It's a bit finicky to set up, but I can see everything I'm doing. I can, it's great. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, you might not be able to see me too. Oh, okay, you can see. All right. All right, so I got a real big issue now. I got a leak from one of the boards in the center where a nail went through, and it's dripping down towards my sitting pad. And it's slowly waking, making, waking, making its way towards my sleep system. So I need to figure out how to get this curtailed. So my only thought was is to do what you do, like with a with a tarp system, uh, and you just tie a knot uh, at the. Uh, just before the junction of your hammock and uh, and then your line to your tree and then hopefully the water will collect in this and then drip off it is the hope so we'll see it's the only thing I can think of if I can't if I can't get this solved then I may not be able to stay here tonight because then it's just gonna work its way down to my sleep area and then I'm 
I'm basically screwed, so. Well, that was weird. My uh, camera battery stopped, and it's the Canon battery, which is, it's, I've barely been using it, but I guess it must be between the cold and everything. It must shut down or something like that. It's not, not the best battery. I still have uh, one left that's really good, and the two that I have in there are pretty good as well, so, but I'm charging those, so. Anyways, if it clicks off again, then I'll uh, swap out batteries and we'll keep going. But there's really not much else to say. The problem is solved temporarily. Um, I'll just have to be careful when I get it out of bed, but I mean, fortunately, that's not a big issue. And, uh, yeah. Well, uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorely disappointed. Uh, uh, so, I've got two more leaks that are just, they continue to make their way. Now, if I keep cutting into the wood further down, it's just going to drip here, 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 and it's just going to drip further in anyways. So, it's going to, and where I have to cut this one, it would likely drip right on the edge of this, which means I could get wet in the middle of the night, which is not good. It's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not what I want. It's a down sleeping bag, so it's even worse. And then, you know, I'm just thinking, well, what if that expands or goes through? Because it's just this heat of the fires melting the snow on the top. I don't have a, a really good way of getting up there and cleaning that off. I was kind of hoping it might be able to squeak through the night. So it's definitely disappointing uh, because it makes me wonder how I might spend some time out here in the future. Because, I mean, I really like this spot. I mean... Obviously, I don't want to film every night here, but at the same time, it's it's a fun place to hang out, and it'd be nice to be able to spend the night and continue on tasks and things like that. So. And it dripped again. I don't know. Yep, oh, my sleeping bag there, great. I don't know what to do. Fuck. Wow, this was shaping up, ah, sorry, this was shaping up to be an awesome trip and just, oh, I've been wanting to do this, it's been, it's been a month since I've been out doing something and this, I think I'm going to have to pack it in. This may be the end of the video, this might not be the end of the video, I'm not sure. Uh, it'll all depend on what I decide to do, and let's just say if it's the end of the video, <laughs> it's an adventure if nothing else, we could call it a day trip, I guess, it's not even midnight, so, and it's been fun right up until this moment where I've had to make this shitty ass decision to take off or not, because I feel like I'm bailing out, but I think I'm bailing out for the right reasons think that's a hard thing because sometimes you, you're wondering if you're coughing out because you're not strong enough to deal with it or is it you coughing out or are you just leaving because it's the right thing to do I feel like it's the right thing to do I guess you guys can decide down in the comments but yeah I think that's it I think I don't know if it's the end of the video but it's definitely uh, end of this trip here so I'm going to uh, keep the lights on and start packing up as neatly as I can. I've got some things I need to sort out. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of a trip like this I can kind of minimize, so and the cabin's well stocked either which way. And I still got supper, so I guess I'll work up an appetite for that. All right, well, hang in there, guys. If I see you again, great. If not, I'll talk to you soon, but This is the exact epitome of everything I wanted to, to 
capture in a video. Like it's it's just whatever I want to shoot it has some reality to it. It has some of the trials and tribulations because not every trip goes as planned. And uh, you know what? And I've been thinking about this one for quite a while, and I've been thinking it through and what I wanted to do and accomplish. And, and I've, account I've accomplished all that. I just didn't stay the entire night. So that's not the end of the world. We'll come out again. It's just I'm going to have to solve my problem, and then I don't know if that's solvable until spring, unfortunately. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much packed up. Uh, the fire is just simmering right now. I just got some snow on it to try and kill it, and uh, backpack's all packed. Just going to throw the, uh, the old tarparino on and just get it lightly covered put the covers on the the stumps and uh, weigh it all down and then head out I still haven't quite decided to be honest with you whether I'm going to go to the cabin or just go home I mean I'm not feeling bad or anything I'm, I'm disappointed but I'm not uh, I'm not dejected either so still could be a good night at the cabin doesn't take long to heat up and get going, so it's going to be a warm night. Alright, I'll move the camera and we'll put this tarp on and pack up and head out.